Your date of birth holds all the secrets to your soul. Huh? You give us your date of birth, we'll tell you the secrets to love, the secrets to lust, and who the best person for you just might be. I have the answers. Check out Secrets of Birthdays at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello Virgos, welcome back from the weekend. Thanks for logging in to Soul Garden. Well, overcast and hyper aware, hyper sensitive, hyper emotionally sensitive of your moment today. The moon has progressed into Aquarius. So emotions are focusing on your moment. That begins with the body, right? Our holy temple. This is where we live. The soul lives in the body. So your body and health need to be on par today or it could make you emotional. This is definitely the transit where people's emotions manifest dis-ease in the soul that turns into illness. So be conscious of that. And I always recommend do a little cardio on this transit. Seriously, if you don't exercise, you need to. And I, yeah, 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 I need to exercise. You know what? Exercise, forget how you look. Forget what size jeans you wear. Your human body, it needs to be run like a little doggy every now and then and brought back online. It is the home in which your soul lives, okay? I know you Virgos are usually pretty clean about your home. How are you good about this one, hmm? Seven of the sun, it's a theoretical month this month. We're in chapter one of Sun and Taurus, and Virgos are beginning a really rapid growth that starts this summer and really starts now. Belief structure. Virgos are going to learn like crazy, a rapid year of pouring information into your belief structure. But before we do that, we've got to clear out the deep false premises, the false beliefs. Now, over the weekend was the first breakdown, so likely you tripped over a false belief. What's a false belief? Well, a false belief is a belief that we adopted, usually from our parents, but often from society as well. We adopted subconsciously as children, because as children we just assume everything we see is reality. We don't realize that reality is plastic. And then we grow up as an adult, and over a period of time, we start to change a lot of our opinions. In fact, we change maybe most of our opinions. That's the whole point. So let's say about 80% of your opinions are one way, but you still got that crazy false belief sitting on the edge. That false belief, which is not in congruency with the rest of your belief structure, will sabotage your manifestations. That's right. Because what you're saying to God when you want something is, I want this and I believe everything, this, 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 but God, there's this one thing that doesn't fit in. And so the universe is like, okay, give her a platypus. You know, something really quirky, something really weird with like a duck's bill and a tail. Because your belief structure is like that. So over the weekend, the universe was trying to point out, you've got a false belief right here. No matter what happened, relationship, career, whatever, Look for the belief underneath it. Now, Mercury says you'll probably be making some sort of breakthrough realization about trust and boundaries. You might decide to open a door or close a door. Mercury went direct over the weekend, and today it looks like you will have a breakthrough realization about trust and boundaries. And it has to be balanced against your sense of self-esteem. All right? So it may be because of your self-esteem or the self-esteem you want you have to draw a boundary, or you may realize that you're going to have to change your values in order to draw that boundary, but there is a balancing between the two. And it's Monday, I have Julie Zipper's Meditation Vibration Live today. She's going to start off in the Taurus Vibration and talk about Mother Earth, this amazing spiritual energy beneath our feet in which we draw our power. We manifest from the energy of Earth. Talk about quadrillions of atoms underneath our feet, all powered by God, right? So today Julie's going to talk about meditating and connecting to that power source. She's live everywhere the garden is blooming. Well, Virgo, that wraps up today. Tomorrow you get a little creative. Until then, live, love, be. So